So, you did. You did. next topic. <laughs> Under 21 team of the season. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe we're going to do it after talking about the Champions League and Europa League. <laughs> I mean, my, my blood is boiling uh, with all this good good football. But, yeah, let's do this. Do um, want, how do you, I, how do you I, want to do it? Yeah. Do you want to do, like, defense first and then you yeah. say your defense? Then I say yeah. my midfield and you say your midfield? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, it's a four, is this a 4 three, 3 your tactic? Ooh, yes. Um, okay. No. Kind of like a four five one, yeah, four three three, whatever you want to think of it. Okay, as. perfect. Yeah. Okay, let's go with it. So, you want to start? Sure. I think I think we both have the same goalkeeper. Mm. You have you have Ilan Meslier? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> the best under twenty one goalkeeper. I uh, agree with you there. And and this is this is a fun exercise, but we want to we want to hear your um your teams in the comments section. So I please, agree. you know, whether this is TikTok, YouTube, um, TikTok. get them down there. I'll put this on TikTok. TikTok community is amazing. I'm loving it. All right. It. So, so our goalkeeper, we are aligned. We've got Ilan Meslier for his uh, his his wonderful season with the Leeds United. Okay. Now, you, you want to go left back okay, first? I'm going to say so. Meslier, then at left back, I put Nunu Minch. Okay. Uh, the, one of the center backs, Wesley Fofana. Okay. Uh, the other, Sven Botman. Okay. And right, right back, Reese James. So, Ilan Meslier, Noon Minch, Botman, uh, Reese James, and Fofana. So, Meslier, Noon Minch, Fofana, Botman, and Reese James. I feel like and, uh, that's the under 21 defenders of this season. Yeah, I, I think um, you and I are 100% right now. What? I, you agree? Yes. You, put, you put all these? I did. I did. <laughs> I mean, you know, as as an American, I wanted to put Sergio Dest um, for actually okay. having an impact at Barcelona. Uh, he's a, oh. he's an intriguing prospect for sure. But uh, you no know, chance. you look at you look at the body of work for Reese James uh, coming. He went out of the squad, back in the squad, uh, and then winning the Champions League final and putting in that. I mean, I could not. You have to put Reese James, in my opinion. You know, yeah, you you do you do. It's a hundred percent. You need to put Reese James. Uh, only other it. center back you didn't put in there, and I know you have a lot of love for him. Is the league? It's team of the season. If it was yeah. the best under twenty one center back, I put him because I feel like the league is a generational talent. He's yeah. he's my top three under twenty one players. So yeah. he would be well, there. But team of the season, Wesley Fofana and Sved Bodman were. You got so that. So you you thought about the assignment. Team of the season is very different than who, yeah, top talent. So um, <laughs> the only other guy I would want to throw a shout out to center back wise is Maxence uh, Lacroix at okay. Wolfsburg for that that season he put in next to uh, next to Brooks. I mean, John Anthony Brooks is the big lumbering six foot four center back, and and Max Lacroix was like the mobile, still kind of big, still kind of physical um, breakout star of the Bundesliga. Yeah, good player. So what's your? I'll say my midfield. You want me to okay. go with the midfield? Yeah. Okay, so my three midfielders, midfielders, team of the one, uh, t team of the season under twenty one are mm -hmm. Chomani of Monaco, one of the most underrated talents in my opinion in the world right now. Mm -hmm. Such a good talent at Monaco. Uh, Jude Bellingham, because I feel like it's so impressive how he went to Dortmund and he managed to have an impact at only seventeen. I feel like that's that speaks levels of how talented Jude Bellingham is. Yeah. And my other midfielder is Pedri. Because Pedri is so unique right now. He's 18 and he's in my midfield at under in the under 21. So I've got a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old in my team of the season of under 21s. Yeah. And, and then, they're, yeah. two, they're, they're so good. Jude Bellingham and Pedri. Oh, yeah. First touch, quality. And they're so mature too. Very mature players. They, they don't. Are. They don't reach their age. Guardiola yeah. even commented, like, "Is that kid seventeen? He couldn't believe that Jude Bellingham was so young." Yeah, and, so, and here's the crazy thing: we might be able to see both of them on the pitch, uh, you know, in the coming days in the Euros. You got a seven. Mm. That, that shows you how mature these guys. These guys. Southgate thinks uh, Bellingham is. Um, well, is it? I, is he selected final? Final? Yeah, uh, not final. Yeah, uh, I believe it's announced June first. So. Tuesday. I don't feel. I don't think he is gonna be picked, Bretton. You're, you're, I think I actually said that last. Uh, I don't yeah. know. My mind. My mind has been back and forth on on Jude going, but uh, you're right. I 
Mm. And here it goes again. But my midfield, here we go. You ready? Let's go. Your midfield. Shuamani, you're right. Mm-hmm. Uh, him next to Fafana in the um, in the AS Monaco midfield is what made their season easily. I mean, just bar none, uh, best two in that in that midfield and uh they've just been phenomenal all season but shuamani especially that was a breakout Mm -hmm. um and then i have next to them not jude i have ryan gravenberg um okay and and that was simply this this was a tough one for me and it was more so thinking who would be best next to shuamani um, and to be honest, Jude would be too, but I just saw him struggling early in the year and then having a great end of the year and leading them to a near to busy title. Um, I thought that just really held weight, right? Um, just a phenomenal end of the season for him. And I think he is going to play and star, uh, at the Euro, uh, at the Euros coming up. So, okay. uh, and then in front of them, I got Pedri. So you and I pretty much what we're only missing one so far out of eight. We're doing so let's pretty go well. with the with the attacking trio to finalize this one. We need to go. We, we need to go off. We were we we spend loads of time with the with the Champions League and Europa League. Yeah. <laughs> so right. with the trio, let's go. I'm gonna my my under twenty one trio is Foden, Haaland, and Sancho. Uh, because I don't feel there's any discussion with these three being the the best under twenty one forwards in the world. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. left left winger Foden deadly howland scoring goals non-stop and sancho crossing them balls and then dribbling i'm snubbing dusan vlahovic though mm-hmm. he's a really good mm-hmm. talent i wanted to mention him yep and isaac was really good too so those are that's those are the two Who's no there? i think you're right you you basically said uh there there's really no way to argue um any other way in here uh but just look at who we're leaving out right you're leaving out kai Havertz. We're leaving out uh, Jao Felix. We're leaving out Mason Greenwood, Ferran Torres, Florian Wirt, Wirtz, uh, Dayon, Rodrigo. I mean, they, they didn't have phenomenal seasons. But, like, this this is that, – that is a tough decision. But those three are miles ahead. They just are. True. Um, I, I got to agree with you. And, yeah, Foden on the left. Uh, and, frankly, that's where he should have been. I don't think he lined up on the – tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he lined up on the left. Well, uh, Foden was left winger the at the start, but then he w- then he was midfielder. Then he played okay. a lot of time as a midfielder. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it was a weird one. Well, it was the tactics. It was so weird. Guardiola like really said like I'm gonna I'm gonna do something special today, and it was. He overthought it. That's not when you do something special. You play to your strengths. Come on. I agree. I, I agree. Get, I, what do I know? I, he gets paid the big bucks. Well, He's- that competition.